talk about uh, you know this simple uh, excel sheet where we can i can show you that how this helps in making a discharge planning so for example uh, a baby who's going home and the bilirubin is 14.3 and you check on the graph and the phototherapy level is 15.1 uh, basing on the risk factor or non-risk factor and it's, you just go there. So now your delta is 0.8. So basically the baby falls here and if baby is greater than 24 hours, we assume you have to measure uh, the bilirubin in 4 to 24 hours and then you should delay discharge and you can even consider phototherapy. So this is a very important concept that you know what sometime although the baby is not up to the threshold of phototherapy but looking at the projection it's better to discuss with the family and uh, take um, uh, a shared decision. Now other example suppose the bilirubin was 16 and the phototherapy level was 21 and C. So your delta here is 5 so basing on that, baby falls here regardless of age. You can discharge this baby safely home and follow up uh, in, in one to two days. So you're getting the concept. It's not the level really, it's, it's the difference between the two. And this is really helpful. This is taken from the pediatric, uh, you know, the, uh, the last update on, on jaundice treatment. I hope uh, this small presentation helps. And uh, please, um, you know, comment if you like that. And uh, you can reach out to me on my email. It's neomd at neomanzer.com. Thanks.